2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Ernie Johnson. The fans are filling the seats in Orlando, the site of our broadcast, and where the magic will be going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Looking at the Lakers, this is their first time facing off this season. Last year, they split the season series at a game apiece. One of the guys you're going to see tonight, Victor Oladipo, when he is just a monster at the off-guard position. Uh, what do you say, Kenny, about how he uses his strength to his advantage? I mean, he's probably stronger than like 95% of the guards that he plays against. Uses it well, gets in, he finds the contact on the offensive end, which most guys are physically defensively, but on the offensive end, he's physical. Incredible wingspan, lets him do things that most guards can only dream, Ernie. I really love watching this kid play. And now let's send it down to Kevin Harlan. Tip-off approaches. Welcome, basketball fans, to a very special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. We're at the Amway Center, Orlando, and the fans are cheering for their magic. These guys have been getting it done pretty much everywhere in the midst of a good stretch here, back home again, to propel them to another win. And when I look at Orlando, they had plenty of doubters before the season started, but I can't imagine there's anybody out there that's taking them lightly anymore. There better not be. I mean, if anybody still is doing that, they, they haven't been watching this group play. I mean, this is a dangerous team. And the Magic start out with the ball. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So the Lakers five right now. Julius Randle is out there with Roy Hibbert. And there's Bryant. And it's Young. And it's Russell in at the point guard. There may be some questions for a while about D'Angelo Russell. People will guess which position he's best at in the NBA. You and I saw him firsthand playing for the Bucks. I mean, he is a terrific talent. Yeah, he really is. I think he's an old school guard, Kevin. He can play with the ball and be effective, or he can play off the ball. He's got a really bright future. Love watching him play and grow as a um, one-year college guy at Ohio State. Now, here's Oladipo. Back to Harris. Just five to shoot. Here's Gordon. It's tipped. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Randall. On defense, the Lakers. It's a three point game. On the wing, Harris, defended by Young. Harris against Young. Five on the clock. And it's Harris off the drive. Yeah, early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. Russell inside, covered by Peyton. And he gets it to go. Russell's got five points so far. And guys, one thing that stands out to me about Russell is how good he is at certain NBA plays. Very strong in the pick and roll already. Knows how to attack with contact. Great vision, and he can also shoot the basketball. Peyton can't get it to go. The Lakers with a quick start to this game. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. And you know, you hate to use this word, but I really felt like it was a sorry effort that they put forth on the defensive side. Boy, that's pretty harsh from you, Greg, but you're right. I mean, too many times we saw them slow to set up and get on deep or late on their rotations, and they paid a big price for it. Now here's Peyton after D'Angelo Russell's miss. Russell against Peyton. Pulls up on the wing. The Magic again can't hit. 
Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Young pass to Hibbert. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Again, Russell missing. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. And Oladipo kicks to Vucevic. On the money with the open jumper. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. For the Orlando Magic, they come in off a good outing against Indiana. And they played with such tenacity on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, it takes a lot of pressure off of them when they go on offense. And I think you've got to give all the guys credit. I mean, plenty of credit to go around. You can't just highlight or pick out one or two guys that stood out because everybody did defensively. That's good. Victor Oladipo. Russell with it. He's got five. And Scott Skiles has been around the league as a coach for a while now, coming home to where he played most of his career here in Orlando. And at times, he can be a demanding coach. Now, here's Oladipo. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Vucevic with it. He's picked up by Russell. They set the pick. Oladipo goes in. He used that pick just right. And Greg, you're right. Skiles is what you know we call a no-nonsense coach. Makes perfect sense when you think about the team that now Clarkie's going to go coach in Orlando. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he was great at developing players, and that's exactly why the Orlando Magic hired him. Plays with an edge, but he develops players quite nicely too. Holds him accountable, doesn't he? Yep. Well said. Five to shoot. Bryant. It's a wide-open look. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Bryant's got himself on the board with three there. The Magic trail by four. Now Peyton still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. There's the pass to Vucevic. The jump hook. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. Just too dominant in the low post to let him have the ball in that close. Real, really simple opportunity for him. I mean, that's his bread and butter there. And, and as good as Vucevic is on offense, guys, he's doing everything he can to catch up on his defense. Huge size and wingspan works to his advantage, although the subpar athleticism hinders him a bit. But, for example, he's averaged less than one block per game for his career, mostly because even though he's a seven-footer, he plays well below the rim. the Lakers ranked in the NBA last season. Fifth in fewest turnovers per game. Fifth in second chance points. And they were in the top half of the league in team rebounding as well. I think that speaks to the fact that this team aggressively goes after the basketball at every position. Yeah, but and the stat I look to, though, is the low turnovers. They did such a great job of limiting their mistakes, really maximizing their opportunities offensively. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. Well, and to Vucevic's point, you know, big problem throughout his career clock has been getting into foul trouble. Yeah, it's tough. He's aggressive and sometimes out of position. Coaches are asking him to be aggressive, but he has to learn how to do that without fouling. That's the next step in his progression. And some of it is anticipation, so you're not in position to foul. And it's the magic with the ball after the basket by Los Angeles. Screen by Smith. Pass to Dedman. He kicks to Watson. Nailed from three-point land. Watson's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Williams dishes to Bass. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Clarkson. And there's the rebound by Dedman. Orlando, they've gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Pass to Hazania. To the middle. And that misses. That would have put him up. 
That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. It's tipped. And here's the fast break. Watson leading the way. Shoots from the baseline. The shot misses. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Los Angeles on top, up one. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. a closely contested game as we start the second quarter and taking a look at Los Angeles's performance here what have they been doing or not doing you know they're not going to sit back and just take jump shots it's all about attacking the paint and getting to the rim that's who they are they've been the aggressor early attacking the hoop and getting into that paint Lakers in the lead. And the Magic struggled last season, still waiting on one of their young stars. Oh, oh, that jam. Wow. Beautiful. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Special thanks to Kia for that sweet Kia slam cam replay. Magic shooting here, about 46% for the game. Watson kicks to Vucevic. It's Oladipo on the wing. Back to Vucevic. Pass break. The Lakers up the floor. And Williams gets it to go on the assist by Young. And the Lakers lead by one. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it, and then excellent execution. Right at the free throw line. Excellent D there from Williams. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Here's Clarkson. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. They get C.J. Watson. And a lot of teams are looking for coaches that embrace analytics and look at data-driven approaches. Coach Scott is not one of those guys. He's an old-school coach who goes with his own perception. And former coach of the year, Byron Scott, now with the Lakers. And as you said, Greg, he's not an analytics guy. And Clark, I think he's a guy that the eye test for him is yeah. huge. Yeah, he feels a lot. Terrific communicator and storyteller. Great experience as a player and as a champion. And I think that all is evident in his coaching style. Alfred Payton, he's checked in for Orlando. And both free throws good for Clarkson. Two straight seasons of no playoffs for the Lakers after last year's miss. Not what they were hoping for. It's, it's going to be a growing process, Kevin. I mean, they had a young team and an injured superstar in Kobe both years. Hard to make the playoffs in that situation. In that height, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. Young outside. Picked by Randall. Russell passes to Clarkson.
And there's the feed to Young. Sinks the three-pointer. Young's got five. And guys, for the Lakers, you'd have to go back almost 40 years to find a time when the Lakers missed the postseason in back-to-back -back years. Fortunately for them, they won two titles in the next six years after that. And the basket by Harris. And the Lakers have possession. Young outside. Back to Russell. Randall with a screen for Russell. And it's doubtful that the Lakers will win multiple titles in the coming years unless something drastic happens. Still, this is a franchise committed to success. And they'll do whatever it takes to get back into the postseason. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Big step last year for Vucevic's offense. Clark unstoppable at times, both on the Man. blocks and facing up. Vucevic is a real outstanding future all-star front court. Rebounds at a high rate in traffic and out of his area. Finishes, faces up. This kid has a lot of upside. I really like his game. ended up Kevin rank wise in the league last year 12th in steals 12th in points off turnovers and they were in the top half of the league in field goal percentage as a team and part of that was due to the fact that they were a little inconsistent offensively Channing Fries checked in for Aaron Gordon Roy Hibbert's checked in for the Lakers Kobe comes in for Jordan Clarkson to the inside Young goes right through for bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. And talking about Vucevic's development last season, he's also had the highest assist average of his career. He's a good decision maker on the floor, knows when to take it himself, and knows when to kick it to cutters and spot up shooters. You know, and getting back to Vucevic, I mean, he's at an age where he may only get better. Averaged nearly 20 points a game last year after averaging only 14 the year before. That was an incredible leap in production, and I think it's one that will continue. The Magic shooting their first free throws of the evening. Free throw drops for Vucevic. The Amway Center here in Orlando didn't see a lot of wins last season. Magic really struggled at times. Surprisingly, Greg in this building. Yeah, a young team still haven't yet established their identity. Only 13 wins at home. And really, that inability to defend that home court is why they fell out of the playoff hunt early. And both free throws good for Vucevic. You know, what's a bit alarming for the Magic at home is that it was a step back from the previous season. I mean, for a team that's supposed to be young and improving, they shouldn't be getting worse at home year to year. Nick Young on the wing. Bass with it. He's against Fry. Young with no one around. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his third rebound on the night. And the basket by Harris. Harris has got his second bucket of the night. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. And a big problem for the Magic at home was that they just didn't protect the rim. I mean, they would end with the second worst home field goal percentage against. Now, here's Fry. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Picked by Vucevic. Peyton dishes to Vucevic. It's blocked. Now the Lakers on the break. And there's Bryant. That's good on the assist from Young. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. 139 left now here in the second. Pass to Hazania. Picked by Vucevic. Off the pick. And Hazania gets it to go. 
Lasagna's got the lead up to two now for the Magic. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. He dishes it to Peyton. Soft touch off the glass. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Orlando. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. You know, adding on to that, they've done a great job of challenging and changing shot in this first half, and they've gotten some blocks as well. Shot clock at five. And here's Young from the arc. The shot misses. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Feeds it to Peyton. Tipped away and stolen by Russell. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Drops in the breakaway layup. Russell's got seven points. That is such good work to make this a one possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And it's one thing to get the steal, but to so alertly turn it into a transition opportunity, even better. The dish to fry. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Puts it up from 12. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. Watson, that's for two. Off the inbound, no good. Here's Brown. Misses from short range. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Magic lead by two. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Gentlemen, I'm here with Roy Hibbert. And Roy, what do you think the team needs to do coming up in the second half? I think we need to take care of the ball on the offensive end, um, get back, but um, you got to do a better job of just controlling the pace of the game. You know, you can give a little bit of leeway, but uh, I think we can do a better job in that aspect. Roy, as always, we appreciate the time. Gentlemen, back to you. Thanks, Doris. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter started. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, folks. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We're going to break down the first half action for you. It was a closely contested first quarter for Orlando. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. The second quarter was a strong effort for them as they continued to battle, and they were able to close out the half in a good position. What did you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Magic? They're playing with a sense of urgency, even though they're at home. Sometimes you feel so comfortable on your home court, the other team can jump on you. But they know these fans have their back, and now they're well positioned to build a lead in the second half. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. They're giving up way too many good looks. You want to keep your opponent under 50% shooting? They have not done that. What's the solution? Maybe more ball pressure, more physicality down low. Whatever it is, Ernie, they need to figure it out. And that's it for halftime as the second half is just about to get underway. See you after the game. Fans, get ready for your Now both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Some nice numbers from Ola Depot. He's got eight points. And he's added a steal to his stat line also. You know what? The number is not huge, but he has been doing some valuable defensive work for them.
the Lakers trail. Taking a look at the Lakers. Russell is out there with Bryant. Then it's Roy Hibbert. Then it's Julius Randle. And it's Young in at the small forward. Hibbert with the screen. Lock at six. Right side, Russell. For the lead. That's in, coming off an assist from Bryant. And that's now 10 points for D'Angelo Russell. And those are two teammates right there working in rhythm. One setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. And for Kobe Bryant, how difficult was last season? Starting out strong, even though the team Greg around him wasn't very good. But then everything, including Bryant, fell to pieces. And when you're a competitor the way this guy is a competitor, you can't stand to lose. So you push your body to the limit to avoid that. But what happens at age 36 when you've got the kind of miles that Kobe Bryant has, you know, you just can't go it alone. That's why Kobe lasted only 35 games. Oladipo for three. No good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And Young, here we go. Randall a screen on Gordon. Russell against Gordon. On the wing, Kobe. He's got seven. Unloads from 13. Orlando grabs the miss. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. You know, you go back to Kobe Bryant. He pushed himself so hard last season, though his points per game average was up. Field goal percentage was the worst of his career. He just felt he had a better chance to score than anyone else on the team. And it's real hard to argue that he was wrong about that. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. And Young kicks to Russell. Randall with a screen for Russell. Dishes to Hibbert. His first shot coming late. It's hauled in by Harris. Hey guys, you know Kobe Bryant. Words can't describe what he's meant to his team. Really to the league in the game of basketball. You just wonder when he's finally going to say, you know what, I've done all I can do. That's enough. Retirement's been hinted at, but until I see it, knowing how competitive Kobe is, I just won't believe it. Well, it was a slow start to his rookie year for Peyton, but he came along very strong. Yeah, it looked really good for the Magic down the stretch. Even recorded his first triple-double. Right, I think there will be shots. more of those in his career. Two shots. That's good for Peyton. And guys, for Peyton, so many were talking him up as the best point guard of the class early. But it's never easy to adjust to the NBA speed, and, and it just took him a little bit of time. And Orlando making a change here. Fry's checked in, and then for Los Angeles, Sacre is checked in for Hibbert. Bass comes in for Randall, and it's Clarkson in for Young. And guys, I think the next big step for Alfred Payton is going to be getting his shot right. I mean, he has the tools to be an impact guard, but, but it's hard to create when you can't keep teams honest from deep. Kicks it to Vucevic. Sacre with the block. And a bound. His magic ball as Orlando keeps possession. Watson, he's checked in for Orlando. Brown, he's checked in for the Lakers. Got a piece of it and stolen by Russell. Four on three break. And it's Baz atop the key. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. And it's a five point Laker lead. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter, just served him up. There's a good screen. Watson, the pass to Gordon. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. For 
the match. Dwayne Dedmans checked in for Vucevic. Hezanya comes in for Channing Frye. And Evan Fournier subbed in for Oladipo. Williams, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Free throw good, Gordon. And for Aaron Gordon, so much fanfare entering the 2014 draft selected fourth overall, which was actually a couple of slots higher, I think, Greg, than many experts thought. I agree, and you know, a lot of people obviously liked him, but Orlando clearly loved him and had very high hopes for this young man. And of course, the injured foot, only 11 games a season ago, and, and never really got back on track. Shot clock at six. Here's Azania, and he's good on the free ball. Azania's got five now. Front third quarter here, and five lead changes so far. Yeah, it's really been a bit of a tug of war. Back and forth we go. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. It's Williams with the drive. Can't connect from short range. And, you know, getting back to Aaron Gordon, his defense is really what had scouts most excited. He has the rare combination of strength, lateral quickness, and ups to defend multiple positions. It's stolen by Watson. Up and in on the way. Watson's got a second bucket tonight. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Magic. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Outside Williams to end the run. Again, the miss by Williams. And talking about Aaron Gordon, everyone knew coming in that he was kind of unrefined. Uh, you're betting on his upside and hoping that he develops a consistent shot. And boy, if he does, you're talking about a guy who could become a perennial all-star. Here's Fournier. That's good. Now oh, it's a five-point magic lead. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. Yeah, the defense is all about disrupting timing and spacing. And, and what they've got going right now is not getting it done. And the Lakers with another miss. But boy, they just cannot take the lid off. Well, they need a basket in the worst possible way, and they've got to stop this run. And the only way you do that, you got to score yourself. Williams dishes to Clarkson. Bass with the screen. He gets it up. No good on that last second attempt there. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Magic ending the third quarter on a 12-4 run. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. Thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. Here's Peyton. Peyton and Oladipo, the explosive backcourt pair. Jason Smith is out there with Harris, and it's Vucevic in its center. That's who's out there for Orlando. Kobe kicks to Russell. To the middle, here's Randall. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got three assists now in this one. That's what this team needs right now, solid scoring chances. Pick by Vucevic. Peyton drives in. Easy layup after coming off the pick. Peyton's got the lead up to five now for the Magic. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Yeah, but they better rally soon because they've given up three straight buckets in the paint. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Dime-dropping delights is what I call it. I, yeah, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yep, he's on the money, that's no doubt. Smith with a wide-open look. Buried from 15 feet out. And the Magic lead by five. In the mid-range, 
rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. It sure is, Greg. It might be the strongest aspect of their offense here. Russell loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. I was able to listen in on what Scott Skiles was going over with his team. He's looking for whatever they have left in the tank. He said, I know it's been a hard-fought game, but now's not the time to leave anything in reserve. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I expect you to be going all out full speed. Guys? Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Peyton with the ball. He's picked up by Russell. Here's Vucevic. Once again off the mark, Orlando. That's a huge part of what they want to do defensively. Limit his easy chances inside. There's the pass to Kobe to tie it up. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got his fourth assist in this one. And that's one of his strengths, knocking down those long-range jump shots. Picked by Vucevic. Peyton drives in. He feeds it to Vucevic. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot, too. And one feels bad for the way Julius Randle's career started. I was there that night, first game of the season, seventh pick out of Kentucky in the 2014 draft. Suited up for one game, broke his right leg, 14 minutes in. And the guy that comforted him the most, I recall very vividly, Kobe Bryant stayed with him the entire time. And he was really in shock on the floor. Yeah, he was. And unfortunately, for so many reasons, for one, he had really been progressing in the summer league. And the Lakers obviously had high hopes for him. And when he went down, that was the start of the rest of the ship kind of going down with him. And so he hits both. And, you know, going back to Randall's rookie year, his troubles really started during medical checkups before the draft. They found a foot injury dating back to high school. The fifth metatarsal had been broken, which may be why he fell a few spots in the draft. Randall a screen on Peyton. Russell with it. Now Peyton defending. Out of bounds. Orlando takes possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. And, and talking about Randall's rookie injuries, the Lakers were going to let him play through the foot. But once he broke the leg, they, they did season-ending surgery on the foot as well. Hopefully, now he can just stay healthy and get to play the game he loves. Russell passes to Young, down low, and stolen by Peyton. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Pass to Harris, and the shot is good. Now it's a six-point magic lead. And the deeper we get into this game, it seems like the more the offenses are in rhythm. Without question, I mean, both of these teams are firing on full broadband bandwidth. I mean, full throttle here. It's Oladipo on the wing. Good. And Harris gets the assist. And that's now 10 points for Victor Oladipo. And he clearly doesn't like what's going on out there right now. Would you? I mean, how could he like what's happening? Really had to take a time out there and try to figure out a way to derail their momentum.
making some changes. Aaron Gordon is checking in for Smith. And it's Watson in for Alfred Payton. Lakers trail by eight. Russell dishes to Bryant to stop the run. Off the left rim and out. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Pass to Vucevic. And Hibbert with the block. And here's Russell. Kobe with it. Less than two minutes remaining in the quarter. Back to Russell. Four on the clock. From 13. And the Lakers with another miss. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially, Greg, when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. And Vucevic with the basket on the assist by Watson. 12 points for Vucevic. Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. One thirty left in the fourth quarter. Russell kicks to Bryant. Back to Russell. It's stolen by Watson. Harris passes to Watson. Oladipo outside. They set the screen. Six on the shot clock. Launches a three. They get it back. Gordon dishes to Vucevic. Nice open look, but it's no good. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Kobe attacking. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Forty-four seconds left in the game, and it's Orlando's ball. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. There's the feed to Harris. Back to Oladipo. Pulls up on the elbow. And Vucevic kicks to Oladipo. Harris outside. Here's Oladipo. There's the pick. Now Watson. And so it's Orlando winning this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. Well, you know, it makes a big difference. I mean, you never felt like they had any doubt that they'd come out on top. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. What can you point to as the team's primary strength for getting this win here tonight? We were really good on defense, and then uh, once we get stops, we're very good on offense. We got some easy ones, and uh, we just kept grinding, you know. We never let it back in the game, and uh, it felt good to get this one tonight. Thank you for the time, sir. Guys, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. And now to our good friend Ernie Johnson, who is standing by in the studio. The 2K Sports Post Game Show.
Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan player of the game, Nikola Vucevic. He made all the key plays every step of the way. They depend on him to deliver these sorts of performances, and he helped carry his team tonight. Let me tell you guys, Vucevic has a lot going for him, and I'm not talking about the cool name. His basketball IQ is crazy high. He makes great decisions and rarely turns it over. He put in some serious work on the glass, stayed aggressive, put that extra effort in, and chased down those long rebounds. Rebounding is so important for limiting those second chance points. He made a big impact tonight. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.